Welcome back to the series on exam preparation. In this video, we're gonna be taking a look at how the GCSE exam breaks down for the EDUCAS paper, what's required of you in each section, and how you can start thinking about planning your time. <laughs> Stolen my chair. Come on. This is my little office study buddy. So when you open one of those past papers, one of the first things you're gonna notice is you've got an hour and a half to complete the paper. Now the paper breaks down into two sections, section A and section B. In section A, all of the questions are gonna be tailored around the set text that you're studying. So if you've studied Refugee Boy, then all of the questions are gonna be based on Refugee Boy. Section B is all about live theater. So you need to be going to see live theater throughout your course. Now you might do that as a class, you might do that individually with your parents, with a group, of friends, whatever it might be, watching it online or National Theatre at home, you need to be making sure you see it because section B is going to be asking you questions about your experience based on something that you have seen live during the course of the course. Right, now that's your overview, but let's get into it and I'll show you what a paper looks like. <sighs> Come on then, Dotty, come and sit on my lap. Okay, so we've got the paper open from 2021 here. Front section, you're gonna see a load of plays. Now, really important, don't answer any play other than the one that you've studied, because if you do, then you're just not gonna know the answers. Dotty, I'm gonna have to put you down. <laughs> so, this is section A. The first thing to note is the amount of marks that are available for each question, because that's gonna give you a slight indication on how much time you should be spending on each answer. Now, as a little rule, I like to think about it as one mark per minute. So if you see a question worth two marks, spend two minutes. If you see a question worth 15 marks, spend 15 minutes. There are 60 marks available in this whole paper, so on that principle, that gives you 30 minutes of thinking and planning time either side. Unless, of course, you've been granted extra time for some reason. So the front end of section A, you're gonna see a lot of these small questions. They're not exactly the same in every past paper, but they are small marks. And that tells you that you shouldn't be spending too long on these questions. And as you get to the end of section A, you're gonna notice two more questions. They're gonna be based on a design element and an acting element. And usually the marks vary between 10 and 15 marks. But what I love about these questions is they also give you these bullet points, which you can use as a bit of a structure. So it's really prescriptive if you know how to answer the question. And I'm gonna be going through this in future videos, so make sure you hit that notification bell so you stay in the loop with the latest content. And so that's section A, it's worth 45 marks, which is about half of the time that you're going to spend on this entire paper. Now moving into section B, what you'll note is it says here that you should base your answer on one live theatre production that you've seen during your course. But this is really important, it has to be different from the play that you've studied in section A. So if you study Refugee Boy for section A, you can't go and see Refugee Boy and reference it for section B, it has to be something something completely different. And then all you've got to do is answer one more question. This is worth 15 marks. And again, it usually is based around a design element or an acting element. But again, like in section A, you're given bullet points to use as a structure. I'll do another video breaking that down for you with some clear examples. But for now, remember that one minute per mark rule. And if you can fly through some of those easier questions at the start, you're going to gain a stack of time to plan for those bigger questions later on. So that's how the GCSE Educast paper is structured. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button and the bell because in the next videos we're going to be breaking down these questions one by one so you know exactly how to answer them. Catch you soon.